Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Behind me I have my Old Town Penobscot 16. One of the things that I struggle with when I video my adventures, whether it's canoeing and kayaking or backpacking, is a way to mount my cameras, keep them secure, and effectively shoot my video. Now I've been making these videos for a good two or three years now. I've lost cameras, I've lost mounts, I've forgotten pieces and components, and I've really struggled with coming up with a way that I can video my adventures and improve my content and just make an all-around solid video. My primary device for videoing my adventures right now is my Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. That's because I lost my Hero 11 Black with Media Mod and Richardson Lakes on my last uh, big lake trip. Well, the trip before last. My last adventure I went to Cranberry Lake with my buddy Justin uh, from It's Good in the Woods and we did five days in Cranberry Lake in the Adirondacks and that was great. One of the problems I had was managing my tripod inside my canoe. I cemented down an attachment point, I put my tripod in my canoe and I lash it down so that she doesn't fall out and I don't lose my phone. And then I also clip a lanyard onto the phone because I'm tired of losing expensive equipment on trips and forgetting items. Um, on that trip, I forgot my GoPro uh, Hero 7, which was sort of a backup, and I'm talking to you on that now, um, and one of the mount pieces for it. So it's really frustrating, and I've been really struggling with simplifying my kayaking and canoeing video setup. So right behind me, the old town's getting ready for another trip, and I've got a couple of components that I wanna show you. I think I've really solved my, my video problem when I'm on the water and I'm excited to add that to the canoe and, and show it to you. So stick around and let's see what I got. So as I said, one of my main components for my system is my S21 Plus. I use that to do all my videography at this point. And uh, the main component of using my phone is this quad lock case. I have this case because it's fairly protective, but I also mount it to my motorcycle. I have a mount in my truck. So I wanted to figure out a way to utilize this quad lock case in order to build my system for my canoe and my kayak. Finally, quad lock came out with a tripod adapter. The bottom of this has a quarter 20 thread uh, female end, and you can thread that onto a tripod or camera mount, and then you can stick your phone onto the quad lock mount. And there you have it, you have a way to mount your phone with your quad lock case to a tripod. But because I'm not using a tripod on the canoe and we want to mount it to the thwart, what I want to do is mount this uh, Yak Attack grid lock system. That's going to get mounted to my thwart. Then I found this really neat mount. Um, I hate to say this, Brocraft. <laughs> this Brocraft mount. So that's going to go in between the quad lock mount and the grid lock mount. That will allow me what I hope to be a solid setup on my canoe to video from the front of my boat towards the back so you can see my face and allow me to spin it around. You can see what's going on in front of me. And then behind me, mounted to my seat, is a rail blazer mount and I have the rod and the GoPro, which I'm speaking to you on now, that goes there and captures a different angle. So the first thing I've got to do is get this gridlock mount on my fort here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. you going nowhere time for the brocraft mount fishing marine and outdoor products brocraft <laughs> seems like a uh, pretty quality stuff so far it's aluminum it's pretty heavy duty plastic and I guess stainless stainless fittings. Here's the base right here. Hopefully we can see that it has the uh, T-bolt the, the and the clip. Sort of 
has like a Scotty mount type connection. So your T bolt. Obviously, slides into your rail setup and tighten your base down. Then we throw this quick release deal right handed. I'm going to put it in this way. It's pretty secure. Loosen this. Adjust the angle. Turn this a little bit. And we can adjust the angle on the base here. Show you this mount real quick, like one of the things I thought was cool about it. It's pretty solid. I can adjust this arm and lean it forward or back. Uh, I can adjust this neck part, but more importantly, the ball here that you can adjust. This plate, um, I like to see this a little bit sturdier, but if you take care of it, it should be fine. So it's got your cord 20 thread for standard camera stuff, but also has a GoPro uh, mount. So you can use this as both a GoPro mount and a camera mount. I just thought it was really cool and it works so far perfectly. Now we're gonna throw on our quad lock, a tripod adapter, so that we can hook up our phone. All right, let's check this out so far. So here's the quad lock adapter, and here's the uh, and here's the Brocraft mount. It's pretty cool. I really like the adjustment points. Like, should be perfect height. Everything's out of the way, and so now this is where I had my tripod lashed down. I've got this bay free for gear and a cooler full of beer. Whatever it works. So ideally, this would sit there, and then I can take my S21 Plus. And hook it up on there and that should be good to go it's a little bit wobbly I'm not really crazy about that but let's see if I can fix that a little bit all right guys that's it we're gonna give this a try so here's the phone with the quad lock case um, it's a little bit a little bit wonkier than I'd like but there's not much I can do about that so We'll give it a whirl, see how it works. Um, if it doesn't work all that well, I guess the search will continue. That's the problem with camera gear for me when I am filming adventures. Fundamentally, I find something that I think is gonna work great. Like, okay, that's exactly what I need in terms of adapters and, and placement. And then for some reason the quality sucks or it just doesn't work out the way that it's supposed to. So, We'll give this a shot and see how it goes, but it fixed the problem for me for now. So, you know, we've got my phone mount here. Obviously this is my seat. And if I'm in a kneeling position, it'll still accurately capture my view. And you know, it just makes it a whole lot easier. So this should be good. Theoretically, it's good, solved that problem. And then we've got the GoPro sits up in the rail blazer and gets this angle. So that's it. That's the camera setup that I'm hoping solves all my issues in terms of being able to video my adventures um, I am a little bit concerned about the the Brocraft mount and honestly it, it's really just this part right here the connection here is a little bit it's loose and because the phone is heavy it gives it a little bit of a wobble and on a river trip if I'm getting banged around this thing's not gonna do all that well um, I'm kind of kind of bummed but for now we'll see how it goes if I put a GoPro up there however it should work famously so we'll see how that helps uh, taking the smaller camera that weighs a little bit less lower to the uh, center of gravity but other than that I hope this gave you some ideas I'm gonna put all these components in the description below these are affiliate links so if you use the link uh, it doesn't cost you any money it does help out my channel and helps me solve other problems for folks so if you do that i, I greatly appreciate it um, if you got anything out of it give it a thumbs up any questions about any of the stuff that i've done or previous adventures uh, drop that in the comments below 
Uh, I'm James. This is Project Night Fan. Thanks for hanging out.